Now let's look at adding page numbers. Now let's look at adding total number of pages to our page numbers. This document that I have open is several pages long. How do I know? Because I'm going to look down here at the bottom on the left and in the status bar on the bottom of Word, it tells me what page I'm on and the total number of pages we have. We've got 11 in this particular document. So when I scroll down, I've already added page numbers to this document, page two, page three, but I want to add on, on this one, I want it to say page three of 11 and so forth. So to do that in Word, it's a, a couple extra steps. I'm going to need to go in here and edit in the footer next to the page number. Fast way to do that, move your mouse pointer somewhere close to that page number, not quite right on it, but just close to it, and double click. Remember, double click is fast. Two clicks within a space of a second. Now I'm inside the footer. The rest of my document has gotten a little bit more faded out because I'm not working in the main part. And the footer part is a little darker. And I even have a little hint tip box over here that says footer. I'm in the footer. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easy to see. I need, to, I want to place the total number of pages after the page number behind it. So I'm going to click behind to the right of the page number. And I see we've, we've got that blinking insertion point. That's where the action happens at the insertion point. We're going to go up to the ribbon. Notice this ribbon has changed. When you go in the footer or header, automatically the header and footer tools ribbon shows right up. We're going to click document info. And we're going to click field. Notice there's some other fields that are, are some other info that's automatically um, ready for you to put into the footer, but unfortunately, total page number is not one of them. So once we click field, we, there's a list of a lot of different information you could put in the document. And it might be fun for you to look at someday, or it might not. Let's just skip to the thing that we want. We're going to scroll down to num pages. So this list of field names is in alphabetical order. We're going to scroll down to the end, find num pages, which is going to be the number of pages in the document. And just click OK. So you see it automatically puts it there. But now the page number is right next to the total number of pages. And that looks kind of crazy, right? It looks like we're at page 311 not page 3 of 11. So I'm going to move the cursor in between the 3 and the 11. So now I've got that blinking insertion point between the 3 and the, and the 11. I'm going to hit the space bar and I'm going to type the word of. Oh, let's do it lowercase. And the space bar again. So now I've got a little space between the page number and the total number of pages. I could have typed that in before I went up here and inserted the total number of pages. In fact, I probably should have, but I didn't. So you got to see it this way too. Now we're done. That's it. I'm going to close the footer and I'm going to uh, zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole document and all the whole page a little better. And as you see now on every page, it says page one, the page number and the total number of pages, one of 11, two of 11, three of 11. And of course, if your page numbers, the total number of pages increases, that will also change automatically in the footer. Let's test it. Uh, I'm going to just copy a huge section. Copy. And let's go down to the end of the document and I'm going to paste some more words in here in this document. Paste. So that added to the total number of pages. See down here? Now we've got 13 pages. And if I look at the footer, you see the footer, the page number automatically updates as well.